Today on Doberman Planet, we're going to check in with one of our guest hosts, Michael and Jackie, in their gorgeous black and rust colored Doberman Zeta, because I heard that Zeta is in need of apparently a complete spa day. Have you ever seen a Doberman have a complete spa day from start to finish? Well, you're about to right here on Doberman Planet. So let's check in and see how Zeta has been doing. Well, Zeta is growing fast. She is now about five and a half months old and even relatively clean dogs like Dobermans still need some regular routine care and maintenance to stay happy and healthy. If you want to see a much more in-depth video on how to bathe a Doberman, John has actually already made one of those videos. Check it out right here on Doberman Planet. Otherwise, this is how we bathe Zeta. As you guys can see, she really enjoyed that bath. So now that she's nice and squeaky clean, it's time to head out to the living room, give her a little grooming action. Come on, girl. Let's go. all out of my hands so fast. All right, now that her oils are nice and evenly distributed throughout her coat, we're gonna get to cleaning her ears. So when we do this, it's really easy. There's not much to it. You really just don't wanna stick your finger too far down in there and you wanna make sure that you get in all the little crevices in here especially for her, she spends a lot of time at the lake, so she'll get a bunch of sand in there. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. You just don't want to poke too far. All right, now that her ears are nice and clean, let's do her nails. Clipped her nails probably 10 times already, no problem whatsoever. I think she must know she's on camera right now and can milk a few extra treats out of us, so she's being a little difficult. But we're just gonna go nice and slow, make sure we don't rush her or anything like that, so she never gets afraid of the process.
As you guys can see here, she has been sufficiently pampered. She curled right up, came right in here, and just went right to sleep. And you have a good night, girl. Yeah, you had a nice night. Well, that was a great time. She's nice and squeaky clean now. We bathed her, groomed her, brushed her teeth, and made sure that her ears were nice and squeaky clean. However, as I'm sure you guys noticed, we had a little bit of a hiccup when we were doing the nails and it turned out to actually be a pretty good learning experience. So it actually turned out for us to be a very um, interesting turn of events. We went to Clipper Nails, something that we've done time and again since owning her, you know, a little over four months now. Um, and she's had no problem with it, as you can see here. She has no issue with us touching her feet or her mouth. Um, but we did find out that she did receive a courtesy uh, nail trimming at the vet recently. You know, this is a really good opportunity to just let you guys know, it's a very wise decision to have a small discussion with your vet. And this is no um, hate to them. I, I don't wanna feel like we're, you know, trying to make any comments against them. We actually really appreciate all of their help every time she's gone in. They're wonderful vets. They're good to her, they're good to us. Um, but clearly, you know, the Doberman is a dog that really trusts their people and they rely on that trust heavily um, for their bonds in every area of their life. And she had no issue with us trimming them and um, the, the courtesy nail trimming changed that for her. So it's a really good opportunity for everybody out there, um, new or old Doberman, talk to your vet about this. Just let them know the boundaries you might want for your dog and yourself and the relationship you have with your vet. You don't want to sour that. They are, you know, your front line of defense for your dog whenever they're um, in need of, of whatever they might be. So just a really good opportunity and a learning experience for the both of us with our first dog here. So we're grateful to them and all the love that they've given her, but just a really good reflection for us. Well, Zeta sure got pampered today, but you know what? It's really good to notice that, you know, this family had no problems trimming their dog's nails and have done it many times and the dog has been nothing but relaxed. In fact, they told me that Zeta very often almost falls asleep while they're trimming their nails, but they take the dog to the vet one time, the vet does a courtesy nail trim that they don't know is about to happen, and now the dog has issues with nail trimming. It's a really good thing to keep in mind. Your vet might be trying to do you a solid by giving your dog a courtesy nail trim, but if things are so much different than your dog's used to, it can really lead to a bad experience which can make trimming the nails at your house later on in an environment that they're usually great with really, really a bad thing for the dog. So keep that in mind. You guys keep taking great care of your dogs. Pamper your Dobermans every once in a while, will you? Thank you so much for watching today. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you take one fast second to, let's say, donate a click, donate a click onto that like button, I'd really appreciate that donation and uh, it would mean the world to us here at Dorman Planet. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.